Hello friends, this video on Algebra Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, variables are also used in many rules of geometry. For example, let's look at a square. Now, by now we have all learned about how to find out the perimeter of a square that is the total length of the boundary. So, how do we find the perimeter? Perimeter is equal to the sum of the four sides. So, if we assume that the length of each side is L. So, L is again nothing but a variable. So, L would change depending on the square. So, if you have a very small square, then the value of L would be small. If you have a big square, L would be large. So, the value of L will keep on changing. So, we can say perimeter of a square is equal to 4 times L, 4L. So, this is a, like a formula and we are making use of a variable in the formula. Similarly, if you have to find out the area of a square, that would be L into L, that is L multiplied by L. So that would give the uh, area of the square. Similarly, in case of rectangle also, if you try to find out the perimeter. So perimeter is again sum of the four sides, which is nothing but 2 into length plus breadth. So let's say that if this is the breadth, this is the length. So this is also length because opposite sides are equal. So these, these two opposite sides represent breadth and these two opposite sides represent length. So perimeter would be 2 into length plus breadth because perimeter is basically sum of the four sides. So this becomes 1L plus 1L that is 2L, 1B plus 1B that is 2B. So this becomes 2 into L plus B. In a similar way, if you try to find out the area of the rectangle, that is the product of length and breadth, that is L into B. So you see, when you set up rules or formulae of this kind, they become very easy to remember. And at the same time, it also makes our calculations easier. So you just need to replace L and B with the exact values of length and breadth of the rectangle. That's it. Now. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.